Hi, how are you guys? It's Leah. Hi. Hi, Mark. Hi, Sherry. How are you guys doing? My name is Leah. I'm a life coach. I'm coming from an event that um, I was learning sales from a, a nice guy named Adam. He has a great delivery. He has a great um, a great academy that he's presenting to the world. He has good um, information, value, and content. So I learned a lot. Hi, Renewed. Hi, SJ. How are you? How are you? So I didn't want to go on while you were on. My phone died when you were on. So I didn't leave you. But I gave you hearts and love. So I was just on because um, I did a post. Yes, I'm good. I'm good, SJ. Um, thanks for asking. I did a post yesterday on my Instagram of something that I say all the time. I say to my clients when they're talking to me about something, they're scared about something, or you know they don't know if they should go for it or not. I'll usually say, you know, you already have the no. Take a chance on the yes, because if you don't ask, it's it's already no. You don't have it. So if you actually take a chance and ask, you get the opportunity for the yes. That's where it changes because you get the opportunity for the yes. And if, if the no comes, thank you so much for the hearts, guys. I really appreciate it. If the yes comes, that changes the game, right? It it's it's something different. There's only yes, no, yes, no, maybe later, but. If you don't ask, the answer is no. You already have no. Nothing changes. So always ask, because if they say no, you're at the same spot where you were. And you know to go ask someone else. You know to go ask somewhere else. Um, things change. Maybe that makes you change your, your approach or what you want to do. But always ask, always go for it, because opportunities don't come all the time. And uh, my partner talks about um, being hyper aware, just like the universe is conspiring to um, benefit you, to help you. So I think when moments come and there's opportunity, the, even the smallest amount of opportunity, uh, thank you, SJ, even the smallest amount of um, opportunity is a grand, can be a grand opportunity. So you want to go for it, ask, and if the, if the universe is conspiring to uh, benefit you then that's that's your moment that was your chance that was your get in there and go get it go ask for it nothing changes if they say no I, I was just at this event and um, it was about social media I don't know maybe I, I was too much but I was like okay I have something to say I want to add value I want this crowd to have this little trick that I know about social media and things like that so I went and you know I talked to the the guy which I was supposed to be meeting with the guy anyway so I asked him, um, could, could I have two minutes to talk to his crowd um, about social media? And um, he was like, you know, um, we've done a lot of social media, so we're not going to do it right now. He, he had done it that morning. So that's totally cool. But it left the door open to them to say, you know, what were you going to say? You know, can, you know, maybe we can link up at another time, you know, because they don't know me from Adam. You know, they don't want to just put me on stage with their, their audience, but like, that's a connection that I may not have had if I just would have got up and left and not asked. So now they know, like, where I'm going, what I kind of want to do and things like that. So maybe their next event, I can maybe get up there and speak, speak and be on the list, you know, so you got to get out there. You got to ask. Don't, don't be afraid to ask because nothing changes if they say no. Um, if they say yes, your whole world opens up and, and you, you got steps to go to and you, you got the yes. So that's amazing. But I just wanted to get on here and remind people to always go for it. And it doesn't mean anything if they say no because they had said no already. It was already a no. All right. So thank you guys for stopping by. I just wanted to hop in and say that I've got my car ready. I was about to go. So I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope you guys have an amazing Saturday because I know I did. Ah, thank you, Calvin. You're amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I hope to see you on Blab later or sometime. I don't know when I'm going to be on. Uh, how far away am I from home? I'm about two hours out. So tonight I'll be on Blab if any of you guys are my Blab friends. And if you guys aren't on Blab, you should be on Blab. It's a great networking platform that you should be on. Okay, SJ. All right, you're doing a show, huh, SJ? I will check your show out. But I won't be home for two hours. I hope your show's not, like, right now. Maybe I'll listen to you in the car. Hi! Hi, Timby! All right. So, everybody, go for it. Ask Sunday. Okay. Got you, SJ. 
I, I, I'm good for Sundays, I think. I think I catch you. That's with Danielle, right? With um, Living the Purpose. Thank you for the hearts, guys. Really appreciate it. Yes, okay, yeah. I can usually catch that one. It's one of them I miss. I think the one on Thursday. Is that Think and Grow Rich for you? Because I'm like, I'm always got something scheduled at that time. Yeah, I kind of miss that one. I used to be able to kind of sneak some headphones in my ear and kind of still do what I needed to do and listen to you guys. But it's been kind of hard these days. But, you know, I'll try to link back up with you guys. Do you have a regular time slot? Are you talking to SJ? SJ has a regular time slot on Sundays and Thursdays. Um, I usually don't have a regular time slot. I usually just do late night um, speed coach. Oh me, um, late night speed coaching. You know, I do the late night speed coaching with Ken. So we usually hop on about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And uh, we'll do a little speed coaching for about an hour, hour and a half. And we usually do it on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. No, not Fridays. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. We usually do it. Um, yeah, um, yes, yeah, specific time. Mm -hmm. So you can catch me there late, late nights, um, doing some speed coaching. We do it late nights because there's nobody else coaching that that late. That's late for you. What is it for you? What time is it for you at that time? What are you Central Time? Thank you, SJ. You're amazing. Easter, so it's really late for you. Yeah, it's like 12 o'clock for you. I'm trying to get him locked in on some other times, or I may come on some other times for myself, um, especially some daytime. It's just daytime is so inundated with coaches. You know, I'm I'm on Blab in the daytime too, but I'm learning. I'm growing. I'm learning from the other coaches because there's so many on there. So I'll see if there's a there. I'll see if there's a time slot I can get in there and not you know overload everybody with just you should do this or coaching this or you know meditate here breathe there you know and that's all good I love doing it I love spreading my positivity but it's just a lot of it going on um, in the daytime so I was just trying not to you know flood you guys out and be there you know when it was lacking you know not a lot of people on at 10 o'clock so um, I, I be there for you guys <laughs> but I'll try and get a time that's earlier for my um, East Coast people all right, hi, um, is that finesse? Thank you for coming. I'm just ending. I was just talking to friends right now. We were just um, communicating when we were going to be able to link up. So um, if you don't follow me, please follow me. Um, if you're not on Blab, you should get on Blab, and you should check us out on Blab later tonight. All right, you guys have a good night. Bye.